Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this makeup, which I would say is suitable for a flight attendant or cabin crew interview, or even if you're going to work every day and you already are cabin crew, um, this is a really good makeup that you can do. It is heavy without being so heavy that you feel uncomfortable because I know a lot of girls that I work with do a very heavy, heavy base of makeup. And by the end of the day, they're like, oh, just get it off me. To be fair, I always want to take my makeup off at the end of the day, like I am ready to scrape that thing off. But this one doesn't bother me at all throughout the day. Um, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't dry my skin out, which is a really, really important thing if you are on aircrafts all day. You need a makeup that is not going to um, completely dehydrate you. So this one is really good. Um, I also find it lasts all day, so I'm not constantly topping up. The only thing I do have to top up is my lipstick. Um, which is just a given. This one is really long lasting, but still in between eating and drinking the million coffees that I drink a day, um, I do have to put my lipstick on again. So other than that, everything sits really nicely, stays really in place. Um, I find that is in big part to the Morphe setting spray that I use. If I do ever forget to put that on, I do no notice that the makeup moves a little bit, but as long as I've got that on, I'm generally pretty happy. So I'm gonna show you how to do this look now. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I'm jumping in first with my Morphe primer. This is the Revitalizer Primer. This one just tends to sit really nicely on the skin. It gets a tiny bit of that tacky feeling, which I really like in a primer, and it really holds on the makeup for the whole day. So I'm just spreading that across my whole face, and then I'm jumping in next with my eyebrow brush and just brushing my eyebrows up and out towards my ears. I like to give my eyebrows quite a nice fluffy look, which is why I do this. And then I'm jumping in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. This is in the color chocolate. And I'm just taking that on my angled brush and filling in my eyebrows. Now guys, I actually am getting my eyebrows tattooed again in a couple of weeks and I'm going to film that for you as well. If you have any questions you wanna know about eyebrow tattooing, please let me know beforehand so I can add them into the video. And next I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color Light Medium. And I'm using that to pretty much cover up my dark circles under my eyes, uh, some of my freckles on my face. I have quite a few freckles and I really don't like them showing. I'm actually looking into ways to get those lightened at the moment. And if I do find a good way, I'll obviously film that for you. I am using this Shape Tape Concealer over pretty much my whole face as you can see. And then I'm using my Morphe sponge to blend those out. Okay, and so next I'm going in with my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, and this is in the color Toasted Coconut. Now, I take a little bit of this onto my sponge. I usually do two very small pumps, and guys, I mix this with my Garnier BB Cream. This is in the color Light, and I mix these two together because I find the Faux Filter Foundation on its own is too heavy. But when I mix it with a little bit of this BB cream, it just becomes the perfect consistency. It still lasts all day like the Faux Filter makeup does on its own. And there's very mixed reviews on the Huda Beauty Faux Filter foundation, but I find it works so well with my skin. I genuinely believe that it just depends on your skin type as to whether or not this foundation sits nicely all day. Um, probably also has a big part to do with how you prep your skin before putting the foundation on. And I just really find that this is the perfect combination for me when flying. It really keeps my skin hydrated, I think in big part to the BB cream being mixed in. It is very long lasting. So I find that my skin still looks almost exactly the same at the end of the day to after I've just applied it at the beginning of the day. And so as you can tell, I really do like good coverage, especially when I'm flying. I think it's just a pretty standard thing for flight attendants to have quite flawless skin. So I go back in now with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just go over those dark spots. I also just take the Shape Tape Concealer and apply it in an upwards direction on the outside of my eyes. I just find because my eyes are quite downturned, this just helps a tiny bit to give the effect of my eyes going up slightly more on the outer edges. I will also add some lashes in a little bit later on to help with this illusion. Okay, now I'm jumping in here with my Morphe Plum Pleaser palette, and I'll be jumping in with two different colours from this palette. I actually pointed at the wrong one, but the first one I'm using is Lilac, which is this light colour, 
And then the second colour I'm using is actually Winky. I pointed at pastel, but I am using the Winky colour uh, just for a little bit of a darker effect next to the lilac. And I'm just taking that on straight onto a blending brush and just blending it across my whole eyelid. This is the lilac colour. Um, once I've done that, I will take the Winky colour and just apply it on the outer edge of the eyelid and blend that out nicely. I'm only applying a very light amount of both of these eyeshadows. I like to have quite a light amount of eyeshadow when I'm at work. I do some days make this quite a bit darker, it just depends on my feeling on the day. But when I'm wearing eyelashes, I really don't find the need to wear really dark eyeshadow to work. Next, I'm jumping in with my Morphe Blackout Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm just applying this across the top lash line. I'm applying a teeny tiny little winged eyeliner on the outer edge. I like to save my big winged eyeliner for the weekends and just do a small amount when I'm at work. I think this also just helps with that illusion of giving myself the upturned eye shape without going over the top. Once I've done that, I'm jumping back in with my Winky eyeshadow on a small flat brush and just applying it underneath the lower lash line and just slightly bringing that up against that winged eyeliner. This again just draws the eyes upwards. Okay, now I'm going in with my Tarte Park Ave Princess Highlight and Contour Palette. You can really see which are my favourite colours here. <laughs> I think it's almost time to buy a new one. Um, but I'm going in with these two of the highlight colours and also three of the contour colours. Hopefully you saw which ones I pointed to there. So the contour I'm going in with first and I'm applying this onto the apples of my cheeks, drawing it up towards the top of my ear. And I'm also applying that underneath my jawline and across my forehead because I have a lovely large forehead. So I just like to try and condense that down a little bit so that the eye is not drawn so much to that beautiful forehead of mine. Once I've applied the contour in all of those areas, I'm going in with the highlight colours. I'm mixing the two together and I'm applying that underneath my eye going in an upwards direction just above the cheek contour. And I'm also applying that down my nose, a little bit across my forehead just around the mouth area and a tiny bit underneath the contour on my cheeks. I'm then going back in with the lightest contour colour on a small contour brush and I'm just applying that down the sides of my nose as well as along the tip of my nose and a tiny bit just along the bridge of my nose to meet up with the two lines down the side. I'm just blending all of those lines out then. This just gives a nice shadow and just gives the effect that the nose is slightly thinner than it actually is. This is just a light nose contour that you can wear daily. I will do a video at some point which shows you how to do a nose contour for a night out, which is generally quite a heavy contour using foundations or liquid contouring rather than powder. Now I'm grabbing my Becca highlighter in the colour Champagne Pop. This one is always a winner. And I'm just taking that onto a brush and applying it onto the tops of the cheekbones, just underneath my eyebrows, a little bit on the tip of my nose and just above the cupid's bow of my lips. This just gives a nice fresh daily glow. I'm now taking my Morphe Brow Setting Gel and just applying that in an upwards direction on my eyebrows. This just keeps them nice and fluffy looking and generally sets them for the whole day. I'm then grabbing my Revlon Volume and Length Magnified Mascara in black and just applying it to the top and bottom lashes. And taking my all-time favourite product, my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and spraying a good amount of that over my entire face. And then I'm just keeping my facial expressions very still for about one minute just to let that really set. Now I'm grabbing my Model Rock Individual Medium Knotted Lashes and my duo lash glue. Now I only use about five of these individual lashes on each eye. I don't really need a whole lot, I just like to make the illusion or the effect on the outer edges of my eye that they're being lifted upwards and I find it only takes about four or five of these individual lashes to do that. Now I'm jumping in with my Morphe lip liner in the colour Mina. I'm actually using quite a bit of Morphe products in this video, I don't tend to stick to one particular brand, but I do find for work I use a fair few Morphe products and they really do last well throughout the day, which is awesome because they are also extremely affordable. Which is great for flat attendants because we do have to top up our makeup so much that we're probably using quite a bit more of our products than anyone in a standard, say, office job or retail job. So we go through them very quickly, so it's nice when they're very affordable. So I'm taking this lip liner and just lining the edges of my lips as well as filling in my lips with the liner. And then I'm going over the top of this with my Morphe 
Morphe Signature Red Lipstick. This is one of the liquid to matte lipsticks and it lasts really well throughout the day. I find I probably only need to touch this up once and occasionally twice throughout the day, which is awesome. Being a flight attendant, you don't want to be constantly topping up your lipstick. A lot of airlines will have a strict policy when it comes to what color lipstick their employees can wear. And the company that I work for, you do have to either wear red or nude lipstick. I really enjoy wearing the red lipstick to work. I feel like it makes my uniform pop a bit more. I do opt for the nude on days when I really can't be bothered topping my lipstick up too much. So I'm pairing my whole look with a small pair of pearl earrings and I've just curled my ponytail as well so it's slightly more polished. Okay guys, and that is the finished look. So again, this is a great makeup that you can wear all day if you are already cabin crew. It's also a really good one to wear to an interview if you're trying to become cabin crew or a flight attendant, whatever you call it. Just because it does show that you know how to do your makeup, you know a good amount of makeup to wear without looking over the top or ridiculous. And it's not so natural that they think that you're not gonna wear any makeup at all. I did have a girlfriend go to a flight attendant interview I didn't know she was going for it, but she went with almost no makeup on at all. And they pretty much straight away were like, no, nah, see you later. They want to know that you do know how to do your makeup. So it's really important that you show up wearing a good amount of makeup to your interview. If you guys have any questions at all about um, anything that I've done in this video, any of the products I've used or what you can do for your particular face for cabin crew or an interview for cabin crew, please just leave me a comment down in the um, comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I can, I promise. Um, thanks so much for watching again, guys. And if you do have a video that you would like to see on cabin crew or flight attendants in the future, please let me know what you would like to see. Okay, bye.